Hello! Finally, we have a vaccine! No, actually we have three or even more of them. The scientists of this world work together to save mankind. I'm saying this while my country is in a lockdown. And we know we can't afford many more of these. So vaccines are our hope to get back to normalcy. If there is one, once the pandemic has broken down, how many retailers, how many movie theaters, how many restaurants won't open their doors once this is all over? But wait, not everyone wants to get the vaccine. What shall I think about that? <laughs> right after this. I want to be upfront with you. I am a vaccination supporter. I always was. I think it is a good idea to immunize mankind against all sorts of sicknesses. I know, mistakes have been made in the past. That's unfortunate. But if you look at it from a greater perspective, vaccines gave us a security no generation had before. If you look back in history, it was always a sickness that stopped even the most successful armies. Sickness always changed the course of events. If not for sickness, we might live in a Roman Empire ruled by Byzant, or we would be part of an Osmanic world empire, or we might speak Mongolian. The Roman Empire was prevented by the plague from restoring its former dimensions in the 7th century. Same happened when the Osmanic troops sieged Vienna. Or think of the unstoppable Mongolic hordes. They were hit by the plague and they were stopped. Pandemics always changed the history of the world. But not only soldiers died, many others died as well. Whole cities lost most of their citizens and their elites. It was not only wars that got stopped, but also ideas and projects. We don't know where we would be with our civilizations had not the plague hit it again and again and again. It is easy to understand that after a civilization was robbed of its most gifted minds, good ideas were sacrificed for simple survival. You see what is happening right now. In a few days, two million people will have died by the corona pandemic worldwide. It could be much worse, but we are careful. We wear masks. We keep our distance. The vaccination is a game changer and it will prevent us from the fate of earlier generations. Yes, everything has stopped, but most of us can continue later. As soon as we have been immunized, we can get back into our former life, one by one with every single vaccination. But vaccination is not a wonder cure. We need as many people immunized that we achieve herd immunity. And that is where we come to the core of the problem. Some of you will refuse vaccination. You have the suspicion it might harm you. You don't trust your respective governments. You think anti-democratic people behind the scenes have a sinister plan. What that might be depends who you are talking to. For me, this is just a nod to It is the history of vaccination that there is a majority of people who understand that a, a vaccination is not pleasure, but a necessity. So they get vaccinated. And the others who just don't want to, yeah, they are freeloaders because they enjoy the herd immunity and its benefits, though they don't do zilch for it. On the contrary, they go on demonstrations. They try to convert other people with their ideology. 
thereby sawing at the same branch they are sitting on. If enough people follow the anti-vaxxer ideology, we go back into the middle age. The result will be poverty and fear of disease. Simple survival over good ideas. You get the gist, freeloading might be enticing, but it only works if there are enough other people acting responsibly. Otherwise our society will destitute. And of course, if you ask the qui bono, you will see that the parties at the fringes would benefit. If everyone is well off, who would want to have a change into socialism or authoritarianism? If you are a socialist, you might support anti-vaxxers. If you are a Nazi, you will love anti-vaxxers. If not, you should get vaccinated. It is as easy as that. So if you watch this, please consider a vaccination. It is not fun, but it is the price to be part of this society and not outside of it. See you tomorrow. Thank you.